Good morning, Mr. Thompson. I hear you had a rough night. How you feeling? A lot better. I blacked out and woke up in the ICU. I had no idea. I was so sick. Well, let me tell you what happened. As you know, diabetes produces wide swings in your blood sugar levels. Last night, your blood sugar dropped down to 35. 35? It's never been that low before. Yeah, that's dangerously low, and that's why you passed out. But we were able to get it back into your normal range, and you should be okay from here on out. So why did my blood sugar drop so low? I'm fairly positive it was a bad reaction to the insulin you got last night. Um, we've adjusted the dose somewhat, and this shouldn't happen again. Bad reaction? Is this insulin different than what I usually take? Oh no, it's the uh, same stuff, but it looks like you got a little bit more insulin than usual. So now that we know how much you actually need, this isn't likely to happen again. I'm glad you're feeling better. Wait. You know how much insulin I need. I've been taking 10 units for four years. Why would you change it? And exactly how much did I get? Well, um, looks like the nurse gave you uh, 100 units. A hundred units? You can't be serious! Uh, look, I understand you're upset, Mr. Thompson, but there's no reason to yell. There was no permanent harm. That's good. See you later. You're in no condition to leave just yet. I mean, this is just a bump on the road. Things like this happen on occasion. 